So my name is Jessica Schilling. I am part of the newly reconstituted IPFS GUI and in web browsers working group. And we, this is this is not so much a demo as just a recap of some of the things that we want to let you know that we've been up to. Basically, here's here's the TLDR. We closed upwards of 30 UX related issues across the IPFS ecosystem in the second quarter of 2020. Why? Well, because UX is important and we want IPFS to be easier to use for newbies and experts alike. I mean, that sounds pretty simple, but it's it's pretty real. And uh, so you want to know what we did? Well, glad you asked. Here are a few things. We have been in uh, a lot of discussions, so I'm going to talk as little as possible, maybe give you a little bit of theme music. IPFS desktop. We have improved screen reader behavior for folks of all types. We have an enhanced peers map with bigger dots for more peers in specific geographical areas. Web UI is better too. We have shell specific guidance if your daemon isn't running, including copy and paste specific to Windows PowerShell, which is pretty sweet. IPFS companion got better too. Preferences are in their very own tab. We've also got an improved welcome page with some new help resources. Here's a fun hint. You can get to this page anytime you want by clicking the heartbeat cube from your companion overlay window. Desktop, Companion, and Explorer all got better because we have many more translations and updated translations and better translations and less buggy translations. I feel the Explorer got better. No more of those super short file lists that only take up like 100 pixels in your screen. Explorer.iplb.io, and this one I just think it bugged me, now redirects to explore.iplb.io. IPFS distributions is better as well. We've got an IPFS look and feel to it. Also a better table display, and it looks good on your phone. Gateway index pages, which you see all the time. We made some changes to those. IPFS look and feel. There's also header links to about and bug reports, which is pretty sweet. Also, these work on your phone now. We've also got more file type icons specifically for videos in these gateway listing pages. Also, if you use IPFS CSS as part of anything that you're working on, it's better too. Icon sets are complete and optimized. We've got better colors, more options, and improved accessibility, including an improved link blue. Also, the core fonts in IPFS CSS, Montserrat, and Inter have been updated to their latest and spiffiest versions. Also, SCSS support, heck yeah, and more. And I won't bug you. Just want to say thank you on behalf of the IPFS GUI team. You can learn more about us at github.com slash IPFS slash IPFS GUI. Thanks, guys.